Now let's shift gears and look at the actual physics of sound. And the first thing we need to discover is the actual speed of sound. I think I said before that light can go around the world seven times in a second, but the speed of sound is fairly slow at 1128 feet per second. Second, there's an asterisk there because that's at sea level at 70 um, degrees Fahrenheit. So if we're to look at our wavelengths, here's a very easy wavelength calculator, and that is 1128. Remember we did that, 1128 feet per second. And if we just divide that into, um, uh, divide that by hertz, then we could do something like this. 1128 hertz, which is just a little bit over 1K, right? 1.1K. If you divide that out, that'll be one foot. So the wavelength of a little bit over 1K, which is the middle of our hearing, is about one foot. So just pull your hands apart one foot. That's about the wavelength of our, the middle range of our hearing. But you compare that to a low frequency like 50 Hertz, divide that out, the wavelength of a low frequency of, um, you know, maybe the low B of a five string bass is about 22 feet uh, long. And then if we compare that to the other end of the spectrum, 10,000 hertz or 10 kilohertz is 0.11 of a foot, which is about 1.35 inches. Now, why am I bringing up this with wavelength? Well, it'll, it has to do with acoustics. It has to do with a number of things. But let's actually have a look at phase cancellation. Imagine we had two microphones that are picking up. You have the bright idea of putting two microphones um, on your acoustic guitar. So you're going to have, you know, two different sounds of that uh, acoustic guitar. In this case, you, maybe the second SM58 would be a condenser mic or something like that. Let's just look at the, uh, the illustration here with just two, two SM57s. If I were to move one of those mics a little bit further away, then see what's happening. The top mic is capturing the waveform at its crest and the second microphone is capturing it at its trough. And if you've learned anything about physics before or even seen waves crashing against each other, if you have a crest hitting a trough, they'll actually cancel each other out and you'll have phase cancellation. So at this particular frequency, those two um, uh, frequencies will, uh, will cancel each other out. Now compare that to a very long waveform like this and we have a, a, a two microphones here, they would need to be this far apart for a crest to come up against a trough. That's why it's much more crucial to have microphone line up uh, to be in phase and be phase coherent when we're talking high frequencies than, than when we're capturing lower frequencies. If you had two different microphones on a bass cabinet that were apart, they'd need to be feet apart to get any significant uh, phase cancellation. For things like drum overheads that were capturing high frequencies, you'd need to have much tighter uh, restrictions because those waveforms are you know, so short. 